Hey guys, today we're doing a video about magic and how it works in the real world. For you guys who may not know about magic and know how it works, but are interested, at least you know the basics. Now, first things first, there are two types of magic. There's magic that ends with the K and magic that ends with a C. Magic that ends with a C is the magic that you see in movies and up on stage uh, from magicians and illusionists. Uh, like David Copperfield or something in that nature. Okay, guys? So, the magic that I'm going to be talking about is magic with a K, which is magic magic. Real magic. Uh, not, like I said, not Harry Potter type magic. Though that would be so cool. But it's not, okay? It's real magic. Now, for all of you people that don't believe in magic or don't understand how it works or how it could work, Magic is energy, plain and simple. The energy, the electrodes that go through your body, magic. It's the same freaking thing. The, the energy field or, or vibration of, of energy that holds matter together, magic. It's the same thing. We just have a different name for it. Same thing, different name, okay? Now remember, this is not Harry Potter magic, so please don't think that I'm considering that the electrodes that go through my body that are that I'm that that energy that flows through my body which scientists have proven is Harry Potter magic it is not so let's not go there okay now the way that magic works when you do a spell uh, in general basically what it is is as what we think how our, how our brains work the more we think about something, the more we manipulate the energy that is around us, that controls our environment. No, we do not see it. Some people can, but no, we do not see it normally, but it's there. So what happens is that you take that energy and if it's the same thing as positive thinking, same difference. If you think something bad's gonna happen and you keep on putting energy or manipulating the air energy around you, that energy will seek out the negativity that you're bringing to yourself because that's what you're thinking about. Well, that's the same thing with that's the same thing when you do a spell or magic. That is basically that is the the foundation of all magic. Okay. Now, when you do a spell, what you're doing is putting you're putting that energy to work for you. You're basically for instance, if you want prosperity, um, the color that radiates, look at what I'm saying, the color that radiates prosperity and radiates meaning that that energy is in tune, that that color is in tune with that energy to bring prosperity. Get me? It's green. So hence, when you see a lot of prosperity spells or people doing prosperity spells, they will have a lot of green, uh, green candles. Uh, green herbs, sometimes even brown, because brown is also um, also radiates prosperity. Hence, you know. And if you think about it, if you have a lot of fruits, if you have, if you are a farmer, the more land you have, and the more greens you grow, the more money you make, and the more prosperity you are in in, in the world, in your life. So it's kind of the same difference, okay? So that's why you use a lot of herbs that give a lot of fruit when you do a spell. And there's different ways of doing spells, different methods and all that stuff. But in the end, you just pick out the things that resonate with what you want. So if you want love, you pick out colors that colors and herbs and oils and objects that symbolize love. Why? Because those objects radiate that energy so when you bring them together, mix them in with your energy that you are projecting that energy to bring you that item to your life, then you bring it all together. So it becomes even more powerful, more intense, more focused on what you want. And that's pretty much how it works. Again, if you're not concentrating, also, sorry, not again, but also, if you're not concentrating, if you just put, oh, I want love in my life, let me just grab a pink candle and just turn it on. That's not gonna help. 
<laughs> that's not really gonna do much you have to concentrate you have to grab the candle and imagine that it, the, I what I do is I visualize I visualize a vortex of energy over my head which is my crown chakra it bring it down here open my third eye my throat and then I open my heart chakra and through my heart chakra and all the other energies that are going through it comes in and out my hands as I'm holding the candle in my hands and I think I speak and I believe and put my whole heart into what I want and say what I want and think of what I want so when you put it together it's extraordinarily strong you have that focus of that energy and then you light the candle and you know things start to happen but you have to have that energy you have to have that focus for that energy because if you don't have that focus it's not really gonna give you your results that's why sometimes when people that don't know how to work magic and don't know how to focus their energy think oh let me see oh I want to try this out and they just do a spell and it might work and then it might not because you're not really you don't the mindset isn't just there to sort of like well it says to put this and this together and then say these words and that's it you know and you don't really um, put the full amount of effort into it and if you don't then it's not gonna be as strong but nonetheless like I said, if, as long as you have that combination when you're doing magic, magic will work. Trust me. I know from personal experience, magic will work. Um, that's pretty much what I wanted to say. Um, if there's anything I missed, I'm sorry. If you have any questions, leave it below and I will answer as soon as possible. Uh, other than that, guys, much love and blessings and good luck if you do use magic. Um, it's a lot of fun. Trust me. Bye, guys.